Welcome to Saturday morning. I said the other day on the video it would be raining, and now it is. So we've got a whole day of rain today, it's saying on and off all day. Oh, and I made a classic mistake this morning. I've been fasting for just over a week in the mornings. I don't eat until the afternoon. And I totally forgot to eat breakfast this morning, largely because I guess I'm not hungry. And I just totally forgot to eat breakfast. But So I might pay for that later, but I'm gonna try and stop somewhere um, and see if I can get something, just so I've got something in me. I've got a couple of gels, um, so I need to pick up something to eat on the way. Now it's a shame really because it's so overcast, it's going to be a nice spot to run today along the coast, um, but we might not see much worth looking at. But here we go. Right, I've just been into the local co-op and managed to get myself some uh, Nature Valley peanut and chocolate protein bars. I'll have one of those now for my breakfast and then uh, have the rest on the route. In the meantime, I'm going to go and watch a bit of park run. Right, Endure 24. What is it and what's it all about? I set myself a target, didn't I? I wanted to get healthier, I wanted to lose a bit of weight, a lot of weight, and just live a happier, healthier lifestyle. So that's my ultimate goal. But we set, we set other goals on the way. And one of those goals was to run an ultra. Right, we are six kilometers in in 46 minutes. If it wasn't for this rain, we've got to come back and do this route again. We've got to come back and do this route again when it's not raining, for sure. Sandy Island. That's not the way we're meant to be going, but how can you not go and see what Sandy Island is? Ooh, that... I think I might have just spotted an old pillbox. Let's go up here. Yeah, old pillbox. I know there's a few of those scattered up and down the coast up here. Oh, look. Cool. Oh, oh. Look at this. Oh, I'll get up there. Wow. Welcome to the Grim North.
another pillbox. Oh, that one's been bricked up, what a shame. Enjoy 24, they hold a couple of events in the UK, one of those being in Reading and the other one in Leeds in Yorkshire. Now the one in Leeds is the one that I'm gonna do. And now it's on the 24th of June. You basically have 24 hours to run around an eight kilometer loop as many times as you would like. My goal is to run an ultra. So I have four targets I've set myself. A target, which I will not share. B target, which I don't really wanna share. C target is anything more than a marathon. So an ultra, so 26.3 miles. I'm gonna go further than that, guys. I'm just setting that as a C target as a minimum. And a D target is don't die. As long as I hit at least one of them targets, we're okay. I'm not sharing the A and B target at the moment simply because I'm not wanting to put pressure on myself. Because they're stretch targets, I probably can't achieve them. No, that's not true. One I can achieve. I think <laughs> but target A is a stretch and it's it's not going to happen but I don't want to share it to put pressure on myself to make myself look silly because I want to keep that up there as my little I can do this this is my target and the reason I have a stretch target is so I don't quit too early because my worry is let's say I set a target of I don't know 40 miles and let's say I get 40 miles done in I'm just making these numbers up. Let's say I get it done in 15 hours. I don't want to then just give up and say, well, I've hit my target, boom, away we go. I genuinely want to see how far I can go in 24 hours. Because what I would like to do in the future is to revisit it and see how much better I've got, see how much fitter I got, and see how much further I can go. Which is why I stick that stretch target in there so I don't give up too early. We've made it down to Bly. We're on the finishing stretch for the part run. So we are at nine and a half kilometers in, an hour, oh, nine and a half kilometers in, an hour and 14 minutes gone. Here's something cool to look at. I'm just down at Blythe Beach. I've never read this plaque before. Especially if you people in America that um, watch this channel. Maybe give that a pause and have a read of that. That was painful. See that motorhome behind me? Oh, they're cooking breakfast. It smells amazing. I could do with a cup of breakfast right now. Actually feeling quite good considering I've only had one of those bars so far. Uh, energy levels are still feeling okay. Where's my heart at right now? Right this second, my heart is saying 157. That's all right at this stage. Right, we've made it out the other side of Blythe. Hit the uh, coastal footpath. Stay on the coastal footpath all the way around. And back at the river where I was earlier in the week. Not far to go now. How, how far are we at? 15 and a half kilometers. Two hours. So we've probably got, I don't know, five or six K to go. We've hit the crossroads again. I can go up that little bank, along the path, along the spine road, straight into uh, Bedlam Station and beyond, or I can go this way, which means we're going up Furnace Bank again. Furnace Bank's become my nemesis. It's kicked my ass and I've kicked it. So we've got to continue the battle. <laughs> don't know why. I don't know why, but we've just got to continue the battle. I want to win by at least five to one. And I think I'm winning by two one at the moment, something like that. All right, here we go. We're at 18 kilometers. 
Now we've got to run up this godforsaken hill. Oh, this hurts. What would Cam Hayes say? Nobody cares. Work harder. Oh, I'm working hard. Oh, it's where it gets steeper. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I need a rest. Dear Furnace Bank, I won again. Right, last, uh, what is it from here? Two miles, maybe, just shy of that. So I know I've been talking a little bit about Intro 24 and what that entails. I have no idea what I said, because it's been over a couple of hours. So when I watch this back, anything I miss out, I'll track into another video next week. Give you some more details. I'll stick a link down in the description of this video so you can go and check out the page. Go and check out their website and have a look for yourself what it's all about. Like I say, there's two on there. One's for Reading, one's for Leeds. And I'll be doing the one in Leeds. Just had a thought. Right, I had a little idea. I come to the end of this run. When it comes to Endure 24, like I say, I've got four targets, two a secret, which I might tell you nearer the time. But I've got two questions for you. Is first of all, what would you say is a sensible target to, to go for? The second of all, what do you think I'll actually do? Stick it in the comments below. So the question number one is what would you say is a sensible target? And question number two, how far do you think I'll go? Let's see who the winner is. Right, that's me coming to the end now. We're just gonna hit half marathon. I might have to do a little loop around the block just to get that on. But we're just gonna get a half marathon today, so that's nice. Right, so that's today's long run done and dusted. Hope training's going well. Stick at it. I'll speak to you soon.